StyleX is a simple, easy-to-use JavaScript syntax and compiler for styling web apps. It was recently open-sourced by Facebook, and it looks like it will become pretty popular. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it with the Remix framework. By the end of this video, you will be able to configure Remix V with a StyleX and validate style inputs using ESLint. In order to use StyleX with a Remix, we will be using Remix V. According to Remix documentation, Remix V is still unstable, however, it won't stop us because in the future, V will become the default compiler for Remix. So let's go ahead and run uh, create Remix at latest and a template we're going to use unstable V and we're going to put it in a folder Remix style X. Now let's go ahead and open the project in the VS Code. So type code Remix style X. In the VS Code, let's go ahead and open the terminal and install StyleX. We will also install the Vite plugin StyleX and we put it as a dev dependency. This plugin will help us to configure StyleX with Vite. First, we need to include the plugin in the vite.config.cs. So let's go to that file and we're going to import StyleX from Vite plugin StyleX and then we're going to Put the style x inside a plugin so put style x and call it as a function next thing we need to do is to create index.css file in the app directory so let's go ahead and create a new file index.css and inside of this file we're going to put add style x style sheet let's go ahead and save this file and we need to import it in app root.csx so let's go Right here, we're going to put import at index.css. According to StyleX documentation, the StyleX compiler does not validate your styles and will compile many invalid styles. So you should use ESLint plugin to catch these mistakes when you author your styles. So let's configure ESLint to validate the style inputs. So let's go ahead and open terminal and we're going to be installing style x eslint plugin as a dev dependency so let's go to that eslintrc.cgs and we're going to scroll to the react section in the plugins of the react section we're going to put at style x js then we're going to scroll down and under the settings we're going to put rules and in this rules we'll put style x js validate styles and we'll trigger error if uh, padding is not, not one of the following, like 0, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. We are all set, so let's go ahead into routes, underscore index.tsx, and let's go ahead and import. I'm going to import everything as a style x from style x js style x. Now let's go ahead and define the styles. We're going to use style x create function. And we have a header styles with a font size of 28, line height 1.5, background color green, and a padding of 3. And then the next, we're going to have the styles for the list, and the background color will be yellow, and um, that's it. And as you can see, the padding of 3 got underlined, and it looks like ESLint uh, rule is kicking in, and it's working, and it's saying that uh, the padding must be one of those, 0, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64 so let's go ahead and change padding to 4 so ESLint stops complaining let's go ahead and apply the styles we created to h1 and unordered list tags in order to apply styles you need to destructure the outputs of stylex.props and put them into the properties of the component you are attaching them to in our case we're going to be doing it to the header and unordered list so in the header let's go ahead and destructure stylex.props and we'll put styles.header and in the unordered list tag let's do the same we'll destructure stylex.props styles.list all right let's go ahead and save the changes 
Now all we need to do is to run npm run dev. And after it's done, let's go to localhost 5173. In the browser, we will type localhost 5173. And it looks like the styles are not applied. Well, that's a bummer. So let's head back to VS Code. And it turns out what we didn't do in the index.css is to put a semicolon. So let's go ahead and save the file. Uh, it's going to rebuild the application and we're going to head back to the browser where we can see our styles are applied. Our header has a green background and unordered list has a yellow background. This is how you can configure Remix with a style X. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.